Hey guys, in this short video, I wanna give you some tips for safely inducing vasodilation and improving your circulatory system. Vasodilation is the expansion or widening of the blood vessels as the result of the relaxation of the smooth muscle tissue in the vessel wall. Now in the mainstream, this vasodilating effect is achieved primarily through the use of nitric oxide inducing supplements. However, as I talked about in an earlier video, nitric oxide is not necessarily a chemical associated with well-being. In fact, nitric oxide is only produced under irritation, injury, and stress. So it's not normally produced under natural healthy functioning. So it's more or less a stress chemical in this way. And the vasodilating effects nitric oxide can have are more akin to the short-term energy you can feel from the production of stress chemicals like cortisol and adrenaline. So any short-term vasodilating benefits you might gain from nitric oxide are certainly not going to outweigh the long-term damaging and inflammatory effects it can have on your body. And as you will learn in a moment, proper thyroid function has a vasodilating effect and of course will improve circulation thus sort of making nitric oxide completely useless in this regard. So we don't wanna completely get rid of nitric oxide, it's a helpful chemical under stress and injury, but we certainly do not want to self-induce its production on a daily or regular basis. Now, getting into some safer alternatives for inducing vasodilation, optimizing your circulatory function, let's talk about how the thyroid affects circulation. Now, ultimately, Circulation is governed by thyroid function. That's why one of the major features of hypothyroidism is cold extremities and poor circulation. Now it's actually through the efficient oxygen and glucose consumption of the cell in the production of carbon dioxide that has the safer and more natural vasodilating and pro-circulatory effect on the body. You see, when your tissues and cells are efficiently consuming oxygen and glucose, your body produces carbon dioxide, which is not only a protective byproduct of this state of metabolism, but it has a relaxing effect on the vessel wall, thus widening or expanding the blood vessel, inducing vasodilation, and improving circulatory function. Which probably explains why when your thyroid's working efficiently, you're really warm, your heart's pumping efficiently, and your entire circulatory system is working efficiently. So now while there's many different ways you can improve thyroid function, therefore improving oxygen and glucose consumption, carbon dioxide production, and efficient vasodilation and circulatory function, there's one particular herb and one really interesting study on the pro-cardio-respiratory or circulatory effects of this particular herb, and that is ashwagandha. So taking a quick look at this study, basically there was two groups of elite endurance athletes, they were cyclists. One group supplemented with 1,000 milligrams of ashwagandha extract a day, the others didn't. And what they found was that the group that supplemented with ashwagandha had significantly improved cardiorespiratory endurance capacity, which was marked by a significant improvement in the biomarker of maximum oxygen consumption. So in other words, the cyclists who were supplementing ashwagandha had a significantly greater endurance capacity because their cells were consuming a lot more oxygen, which is one of the major signposts of proper thyroid function, which is going to result in more carbon dioxide, improved vasodilation, and overall improved circulatory function. So for anybody watching this video, if you're an endurance athlete, an athlete of any sorts, or you're just looking to increase the health and efficiency of your circulatory system, you want to have a vasodilating effect on your body, I would highly recommend avoiding the consumption of anything that's going to induce nitric oxide and instead optimize your thyroid function and utilize pro-thyroid herbs that will help your cells utilize or consume more oxygen and more glucose and optimize your production of carbon dioxide. All of this will have a safer and more effective and a more natural vasodilating effect on your body. It will improve your circulatory system without the damaging and inflammatory effects of nitric oxide. However, that does bring this video to a close, so if you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And if you're interested in learning more about ashwagandha, definitely be sure to check out our website and blog in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.